flashlight. Where is that coming from, anyway? Three lights, uh, I have to hold two. Very embarrassing. No money here. Can you tell this is no money? Uh, Tuck is too big. I have no shoes. Do I look all right? Uh, flashlight, uh, bow tie. This is not called stand-up flashlight. Uh, uh, Nail polish? Jeez, humbug. Why am I here? Spots are my eyes. Oh, ow. Ow. Fun-filled night in Pasadena, California. We are at the Ice House. I am your host, Kay Ballard. Mother's-in-law. time you ever come to my comedy show. I have only one thing to say to that, and that's, um, him eat. Anyway, they're going to be bleeping this out, don't worry. <laughs> People at home are going to be watching the show, they're going to say, show us your boop, boop me. You know, it's going to be great. Uh, we have a very funny show for you tonight, we certainly do. A good friend of mine coming up first. Tours all over the country with the Four Tops and the Four Seasons and the Temptations. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jeff Martyr. Thank you so much. Yeah. I feel like a, uh, I feel like a weatherman at a planetarium. <laughs> I just... There'll be a cold front moving through the Orion constellation, <laughs> causing some precipitation in the Pleiades. <laughs> of course, weather in Miami will be fine for the full contact shuffleboard tournament. <laughs> I have a Ivy League attitude, and actually, I was in college for an hour. I was not what is called, quote unquote, college material. I was like, what? You have to walk from class to class? <laughs> too much commitment. My peer group did it. Four years, six years, eight years, some of them. They lived on campus in those little dorms, two feet by three feet. That's why kids take mind-expanding drugs. It's not for the high. It's to make their room appear large. <laughs> wow, I'm freaking out. It's a condo. God. While I was there, I did learn, however, that you have uh, two hemispheres in your brain. And I do comedy for both hemispheres of your brain. Now, a lot of people don't know that you have two hemispheres of your brain. And that's okay, because a lot of people don't care. I'll tell them this, and they'll go, hey, hey, <laughs> we only use 10% of our brains anyway. Dial. Why not lease the rest of the space out for advertising? <laughs> and we do. Um, we really do. One, I saw it in the back of a magazine, there was an ad, it said, earn up to $750 a week stuffing envelopes. You're going to have to stuff them with heroin and sell them on street corners because that's a lot of cashish for a simple skill. And even those lamos have a left and right hemisphere in their heads. This is how it works. One hemisphere of your brain controls linear logical thought. That will now be represented by this microphone shown actual size except on television. Now, the other hemisphere of your brain is a garage sale. Thoughts, statements, fragments, character vignettes, concepts, one-liners, it's different. The other hemisphere of your brain controls creativity, fantasy, and imagination. And if you had my head, <laughs> you'd have to babysit thoughts like this all the time. <laughs> some of us, some of us are telepathic. Why is Wednesday called hump day when most people get laid on the weekends? <laughs> Why do they call it rush hour and your car just sits there? <laughs> Why is easy listening music so hard to listen to? <laughs> now, Here's the rule. When I walk over there, it should be on, and uh, 
And you'll laugh appropriately. It's different. It's whack. You'll catch on. Unless it's very late when this thing is airing. <laughs> Do you think when Gandhi got shot... <laughs> It's all about impact. Television is all about impact and the power of the spoken word. Do you think when Gandhi got shot... I think I've proved my point. Do you think when Gandhi got shot, he went, holy cow. You know what it's all about? I'm not sure what it's all about, but I think it has something to do with doing the hokey pokey and turning yourself around because even in the song it says you do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. It's even in the song. Sometimes the answers are so obvious, we miss them. Mom, were you smoking marijuana? No, honey. Uh, Mom, what's for dinner? Milk duds and Pepperidge Farm cookies. <laughs> you know, or perhaps you don't, I used to get high with Plato. Not the clay, the philosopher. I remember it like it was Tuesday. We were standing outside of the Parthenon after one of his lectures, smoking some things, and I said to him, we like to smoke pronouns back then, and I said, play, because we were on a monosyllabic basis, What's your philosophy of life? And he looked at me, he said, Je before I tell you, you have to understand that philosophy is the science of estimating values. The superiority of one substance or state over another is determined by philosophy. I looked at him and I said, <laughs> no more for you. <laughs> Look at your eyes. Give me the keys. Give me the keys. You want to have all your faculties about you when you're sitting there with a man of that intellect discussing serious things like... If Fred Flintstone knew that the large order of ribs was going to tip over his car... <laughs> why did he get them at the end of every show? <laughs> if you have a funeral at night, do all the cars have to turn their lights off? <laughs> create more business? Do people in France use American ticklers? <laughs> when cows laugh, does milk come out of their noses? <laughs> Thanks for playing along. Good night.